Today, I'm putting the worst player of all time in Football Manager 2023. Here is our worst player of all time. I've given him ones for every single attribute, including all technical, mental, and physical attributes. I've also given him a horrible personality. In the game, it shows up as a temperamental personality, but for all good personality traits, I've given him a one, including professionalism, and for bad personality traits such as controversy, injury proneness, and dirtiness, I've given him 20s, indicating that he is very controversial, he's a very dirty player, and he should get injured quite a lot. I've also made him extremely one-footed, so that this might lower his appraisal from scouts in the game. But I've done this with a little bit of a twist. Our worst player, one who has the terrible personality, will be going up his against his identical twin, who is the worst player 200. And when I say he's the worst player 200, I've called him this because we've given him the best personality. So just like our previous player, he is the worst player of all time. He has ones for all his attributes. But to make him a little bit better, we've given him a model professional personality. So for all those good attributes, he has a 20, including professionalism. And for all those bad attributes, such as controversy, injury proneness, etc., we've given him a 1. Additionally, we've also made him very both-footed, so that he might have higher appraisal from scouts. So for this, we're going to take these two identically terrible players, and we're going to see how they develop within the game. Both players, to make it a little bit interesting, have a 200 potential ability. So we're going to see if either of these players can go from the worst player of all time to the best player of all time. And to start them off, we've put them in Maharlika Manila FC, which is a professional club in the Philippines Football League that is predicted to finish in sixth place. So we're going to see if they can develop from the Philippines and maybe move on their career from there. So how will these players do? Let's fast forward and find out. All right, welcome back. We are one year into the future in our worst player series. So here we have both of our worst players and we are going to compare them and see how they are doing after season one. All right, we are back. And in something that's really surprising to me, I think the worst player with the worst personality is actually better than our worst player with the best personality. So our worst player with the bad personality, worst player one, is on the left. Our worst player 200, who has the better personality, is on the right. And overall, it looks like our one with the worst personality is a lot better. He has higher attributes technically, mentally, and physically. I am shocked to see how each of these players are developing. They're still terrible. They're still awful players, but... I think our worst player with the worst personality is actually doing a little bit better. So here is our worst player with the bad personality again. As you can see, he has that temperamental personality. And looking at his current ability, it's still one. <laughs> he's still really bad. His recommended current ability is also one. Um, he still has that 200 potential ability. He's actually gotten a little bit better personality-wise. Some of them have gone up to two. I wonder if he just couldn't be that bad. But if this is the case, I really don't understand how he has improved at all because he's just terrible. Let's look at his career stats. Well, he has made 13 appearances for Maharlika Manila, and he's actually scored a goal. I would love to know who he scored against. I'm going to have to find that. I can't believe he's scored. His average rating is 6.33. That's really awful. I'm genuinely surprised that he's playing at all given how bad he is, but he's he's made 13 appearances and scored a goal, so well done to our worst player of all time. Wow. So here is our worst player with the professional personality, and he is a little bit worse. Let's look at his, his current abilities for. How is his current ability for? But the other player's current ability is one. I'm so confused by that. They did knock off some points on his personality he still has a professional personality but it's not all 20s we do see a few 19s in there let's look at his career stats after season one well he played 16 appearances so he he actually played in more games 
but his average rating was lower. He only had a 6.13 average rating. There's no way that Maharlika Manila is doing very well in the league. Let's see how they did last league. Yeah, last season they finished sixth. They did, they did not do very well. United City winning, of course. No surprise there. But I, I just can't believe the worst players are even getting in the team. Where are they playing? Let's look at their tactics. Well, the worst player is playing AMR. Ow, and the other one... And how is how is the worst player with the worst personality starting? And our worst player with the good personalities on the bench? I'm so confused by this. This, this is really surprising. I'm just shocked. Well, after season one, this has been some really surprising developments. They're on three-year contracts with Maharlika Manila. So I think given that we've seen them now after season one, let's fast forward to 2026 and let's see where they are at that point. So in huge developments, we are three seasons into the future. The worst players have all moved to Europe, and they have pretty big transfer values. Now, I know that the worst players here, we did give them 200 potential ability, but they are awful. And our worst player one has moved to France. He has a temperamental personality. He doesn't look like he's gotten much better since 16 years old. Let's see what his current ability is. His current ability is still one. His temperament is terrible. His, I don't know why his current ability is still one. If we start editing, okay, his recommended current ability is 10, so he's a little bit better. But for some reason, he went to Olympic Marseille for free, and the Montpellier shelled out 550,000 pounds for the worst player of all time. That is shocking. So looking at his career stats, the worst player was 13 matches, 11 matches in the second season, only one match the third season. But that was enough for him to get that move to Europe after his contract ended with Olympic Marseille. And then Montpellier must have had flashing lights with that 200 potential ability because that was enough for them to shell out 550,000 pounds for him. I'm shocked that the worst player of all time, I mean, he hasn't developed and he's already 19. And granted, you can develop a little bit as they get older, like even past 21, they're still going to develop. But with such a terrible personality and being such a bad player, I just kind of assumed they wouldn't go anywhere. So the fact that our worst player with a terrible personality has moved to Europe and is in France now, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. So here is our worst player with the better personality, which is now changed to sporting, which I find interesting. But he still looks bad. He still looks worse than our other player. His current ability is 14, which is better. I mean, his mental attributes still look fantastic. But, I mean, he's awful. I can't believe that anyone would shell out money for him. So he, he went to Olympic Marseille on a free at the exact same time as our other worst player did. And then he went back on loan to Mendiola. That is a semi-professional club, so that also would have slowed his development. But he actually got a goal and assist. He has three goals and two assists throughout his career. He has 45 total appearances. He had a really great second season with Maharlika Manila. So they are doing pretty well. Let's see how they did last season, Mendiola. Okay, they finished last. Wow, they've been terrible. Okay, they finished last every season. But... Wow, okay, so our worst players are not doing terrible, and our worst players have some pretty high transfer values. I'm genuinely surprised at how well they're doing. Let's actually, real quick, let's compare the two of them. So our worst player, again, one is on the left. Our worst player with the good personality is on the right. And attribute-wise... They're pretty even physically and mentally, actually. Our worst player with the terrible personality has also somehow grown. But our worst player with the bad personality technically is better than our worst player with the good personality. His attributes are just better. This is really surprising. Considering their development, I just would have expected the better personality to be better. And granted, they're still both awful, but they're maybe not as awful as I thought they would be. So that's where we are in 2026. I think with that, let's go fast forward a few years and see how they are doing at that point in time. 
All right, I have fast forwarded to 2030 and the absolute most amazing thing has happened. Our worst player with the bad personality is at PSG and he's still terrible. But for some reason, they have decided to shell out 3.1 million pounds for the worst player of all time. This was the season after we saw him at Montpellier and he has never played. He has made no appearances for PSG or PSG2 because, again, he's the worst player of all time. But PSG, I know that they have vast sums of money, but 3.1 million pounds for the worst player of all time is shocking. Oh my god. <laughs> On the other hand, our worst player with a good personality is actually starting to not look terrible. He's played for the Philippines. He has eight caps and one goal. And he's starting to look like a decent player. He's got some okay mental attributes and some okay physical attributes. Looking at his career stats, well, he's gone on loan and he's got playing time on loan. So he went to Mendiola, then he went to a couple second division Filipino teams, and he was bounced around the lower divisions of France for a little bit. But he's scored some goals. He's got some assists. He's even had some average ratings above a 7. A 7.43 is very good. 132 appearances, 9 goals, 8 assists, and an average 6.79 rating. That isn't terrible. So I think the better personality is starting to come through at this point in time. And he looks so much better than our worst player with the temperamental personality. And let's compare the two of them. Yeah, far and away, our worst player with a better personality is better. So it's interesting because it took a long time for that personality to come through. In the first five, four or five seasons, our worst player with a bad personality was actually better and making appearances and had better attributes. But our worst player with the 200 personality is doing so much better at this point. He looks like a better player and he is getting game time. So again, going back to our worst player, one who has the temperamental personality, his current abilities too. <laughs> oh my god. PSG shells at 3.1 million pounds for a player with a current ability of two. He's so bad. This has to be the worst player who's ever existed. And he has like terrible controversy. He's injury prone. He's one-footed. I cannot believe they spent three... I know his potential ability is 200. If you're watching this, I know his potential ability is 200. But his current ability is two. And for some reason, PSG has shelled out 3.1 million pounds on him. I'm, uh, <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. Looking at our worst player with the sporting personality, let's look at his current ability. He actually developed it quite nicely. 76 is probably Vanarama National League level. So the better personality, even though he started off with ones and everything, and he was the worst player of all time, he's developed all right. I mean, he could play in probably the lower divisions of England, somewhere around the Vanarama National League South or the Vanarama National League. He's done well. I mean, I can see why he was doing so well in the Philippines, because that isn't terrible. So our worst player with the better personality is starting to show that he's better. So that's where we're at at the moment. I'm still surprised. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a higher transfer value. Our worst player, our like bad worst player has a higher transfer value somehow. I mean, 140k, that's nuts for the worst player of all time. But let's go fast forward into the future and we will see how they're doing further on. Welcome back. We are on July 2031. We're actually only one year forward, but this is the last time that we see our worst players. After this, they exit the game, they retire. So this is the last information that we have on our worst players. Our worst player with the bad personality, unsurprisingly, is transfer listed at PSG for only 2.5k. I think his contract is about to expire. Looking at him, he is still awful. He still has a current ability of 2 recommended current ability of three his personality is a little bit better it's not all ones but he is terrible let's look at his career stats he never ended up playing another game for psg so his total stats 25 appearances he scored one goal good for him 
and he had an average 6.25 rating. That's pretty awful. Looking at our worst player with the better personality, it doesn't look like he ended up playing another game for OM, but he did get into the second side. Nine appearances in his last season, didn't get any goals. But overall, 141 appearances, nine goals, eight assists, two player of the match awards. Those were with Aguilas in the Philippines second division. And an overall 6.78 average, that isn't terrible. Looking at his... 79 current ability he actually developed pretty well considering that he gained 78 current ability points i think overall he had a pretty successful career and in comparing the two players i think we know that the worst player 200 with the better personality is better but looking at the comparison details it's really obvious to see how much that better personality has helped even though he's not at psg i still can't believe that psg shelled at 3.1 million pounds for the worst player of all time I don't get a good potential ability, but we can see that the better personality worst player ended up developing much better than our other worst player. So overall, I think he's had a pretty decent career, all things considered. So again, our worst player now doesn't have a club. Our worst player, one with the bad personality, will be leaving PSG. That's it for them. Their careers end after this. Overall, I think this has been really surprising with both players making it to Europe. The better personality ended up do, ended up developing the player better, but I still can't believe the worst personality actually had a better was better early on in the career with some better technical attributes especially and the 3.1 million pound move to PSG is just nuts. The worst player of all time moving to PSG for 3.1 million pounds. That's probably one of the weirdest things that has happened in any of these football manager experiments. Anywho, I think that is where we will end things for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will be back with more football manager experiments very soon. Bye.